My name is Dr. Raymond Benza, and I am a pH clinician and researcher. We're going to talk a little bit about nitric oxide, its importance in pulmonary hypertension, and some of the interesting clinical work that we're doing with this particular molecule. So nitric oxide is uh, a molecule that the body utilizes to keep the blood vessels in the lungs wide open and rushing with blood. In patients with pulmonary hypertension, the blood vessels in the lungs no longer make this molecule. We don't know why. We think it may be related to some genetic predisposition. But in the absence of this molecule, the blood vessels constrict and results in pulmonary hypertension. This is probably the most potent blood vessel dilator known to mankind. And that's why it's so essential to have this in the body of people who have pulmonary hypertension, because it really, in essence, can bring the blood vessels back to a normal tone and, uh, and ease the stress off their heart. So this molecule we know can be delivered therapeutically. Uh, and uh, actually we've had chemical forms of this compound that's been available for use for many years. The problem with it is that it's delivered as a gas and people have to inhale it. And the tanks that are required to deliver this are huge. There are no way people can walk around with these things. And so we've only been able to use this life-saving medication in the hospital when someone is very, very sick with pulmonary hypertension. And in many instances, it's been life-saving. It's gotten people out of the crutch and, and allowed them to get put on regular medications and, and have an improved outcome. So some uh, pretty smart engineers uh, figured out a way to miniaturize the cylinders so they can be uh, carried in a hip-like structure and people can walk around with it and they can be delivered just like they wear oxygen. And, uh, and that's essentially the essence of the study that we completed. We looked at the first ambulatory form of nitric oxide for treatment of pulmonary hypertension. The study was conducted over several years and patients who were already on therapy for pulmonary hypertension but who had not yet met their clinical goals, meaning they were still breathless when they were trying to do the things that they like to do every day, were uh, randomized to get this medication uh, or not. And then we saw how they did. And at the end of the day, the patients who uh, received the gas, if they used it correctly, meaning they used it all day and, uh, and didn't take frequent breaks from it, uh, seemed to walk longer and have... Uh, improvements in the way their heart circulates blood, but obviously was very dependent upon patient compliance, how often they used it, how long they used it, uh, and if they used it throughout the day as opposed to in very short cycles. So I think we've shown at least a signal that this form of walking around medicine might be useful in patients with pulmonary hypertension to help them live longer and breathe better. So the six minute walk test is really one of the most simple tools that we have to measure someone's functional capacity who is stricken with diseases like heart failure. And it's simply having someone walk up and down a hallway for six minutes and to see what kind of distance they can attain in that six minutes. And obviously someone who can walk a longer distance in six minutes has a better functional capacity than someone who can't walk very far in six minutes. And it's really been used as uh, the gold standard for measuring outcome in pulmonary hypertension for many, many, many years. Uh, the smaller study that we did, and that's being presented at the International Society of Heart and Lung Transplant meeting, is we used this uh, ambulatory form of nitric oxide during patients' six-minute walk tests. And we found that those patients who utilized it during a walk had much improved uh, functional capacity than those who didn't. And interestingly, in the patients that we looked at, they had a, another novel indwelling hemodynamic monitor called a CardioMEMS monitor that monitors their pulmonary pressures 24 hours a day. And we were able to see what their pulmonary pressures did with exercise and those who did or did not wear the nitric oxide. And those who did seemed to have a much better hemodynamic response to the walk than those who didn't. So presently, patients who are using the inhaled nitric oxide still have to take their pH medications. We have yet to determine whether people can be weaned off these medications and just use the nitric oxide. Luckily, and uh, the medication has very, very few side effects, which is similar to what we've seen when we utilize the gas in the hospital. It doesn't cause your blood pressure to be low, it doesn't cause any strange neurological effects, and it's uh, usually very well tolerated. My name is Dr. Raymond Benza, and I'm aware that I'm rare.